Scarlet is an opera that explores the relationship between Red and the wolf slash oppressor in a modern adaption of Little Red Riding Hood. We explore themes such as innocence, violence against women, and oppression, objectification, and also love. In Act 3, Little Red Riding Hood and her grandmother wake up as statues in a UK museum. They find that they can't move and they can't talk and that their power has been taken away from them. This opera should explore themes of gender identity and love and the perception of love and what it means today. My name is Olivia Bell and I'm the librettist for Scarlet. This is such an exciting project to be working on because it brings together many of the themes that are really relevant at the moment in today's discourse, particularly that of exoticizing the unknown, of taking something which doesn't belong to you, of the nebulous relationship between men and women, of the power play that comes with that, and particularly of this idea of Orientalism, this Saeed idea, um, and of trying to attain something uh, from the unknown. A man arrives on the shore, we don't know where he's come from, we don't know who he is. Is he an explorer, a naturalist? He's the wolf. He meets a woman who promises to take him to grandmother's house. Grandmother's house could be a castle, a palace, we don't know, and the audience discovers things about each other in parallel with how the characters dialogue with each other. And at the end it becomes clear that all is not what it seems, that there's a bigger power play here and when she is taken eventually uh, away there's a subversion of the uh, fairy tale twist and he doesn't go to grandmother's house at all he brings grandmother's house to her in the most awful way um, in a museum in an exhibit which she has become part of having lost her voice <laughs> opens on themes of innocence and utopia. Red is very happy in her world with her mother until the wolf comes along and obscures the music and obscures her head. Throughout her journey through the forest with the wolf, the key theme, which is the motif that I've just shown you now, is obscured into augmented, minory, diminished chords, and she can no longer clear the thoughts in her head. When she wakes up in the museum, she can barely sing at all. She can barely walk, she can barely express herself. What once was a innocent motif in act one becomes silence in act three and diminished in act two. Hi, I'm Katie, I'm the director for this piece and I'm really, really excited to be joining Georgia and Olivia on this amazing project. Scarlet is a very prescient and relevant uh, twist on a very familiar tale and I'm really delighted to be joining the creative team. Uh, I really look forward to especially exploring themes of physical theatre in this production, especially as we uh, explore the ideas of objectification of Little Red Riding Hood, seeing her lose her physically her autonomy uh, and her and her voice throughout the throughout the production, especially in the third act. Um, the design of the production at this stage is going to be quite ephemeral, with the wolf as the artist, Little Red as his muse. We're going to be looking at maybe painting on stage. There'll be lots of sketch aspects to the overall design um, and of course the kind of exploration of this whether this uh, utopia of grandmother's house of the place where she comes from um, that he is so obsessed with uh, whether that is even a real place or uh, an invented one.